Hi everyone, this is Turtles, creator of Salt, a training and practice tool for StockCraft 2. I'm creating this video to give you a little demonstration of the tools this map places at your disposal to improve your game, no matter what league you are. What better way to show you this than to take you through it first hand. Starting from the game menu, click on Custom Games and search for Salt. A bunch of them will come up, but for now we'll be looking at the new map, Xeris Prime. Soon we'll start uploading versions of all the current ladder and tournament maps, as well as a few lesser known ones that I think deserve some spotlight. In the lobby there are 13 slots for players available, and one slot down the bottom which should be left untouched. Now for this to work you will need at least one other player, this opponent can either be a friend or AI. So I'll go ahead and add an opponent, but I'll also fill in a few other slots so I can demonstrate how this works with the whole group of people. Now that the game started, our opponent has chosen Zerg and is over here in the top right corner. So I'm going to go cross positions, and since I'm Terran, I'm going to select the Terran icon over here at the top. doesn't matter if we make the wrong choice, we can always go back at the start and choose a different race. Salt comes with its very own build order editor to create a build from scratch, but the builds are saved in Yabot encoding, making them compatible with other tools such as StarCraft tools at sct.sc. From here we can create a build order or search for one to start off with. This one here will do. Down the bottom here we have the Yabot encoding, so we just have to copy that with Control C. Then when we're in game, just go menu, go uh, build orders, import a build order, copy paste, uh, so just Control P there, and then we can just add all the metadata that we want. Put description as something else. Uh, this whole procedure is exactly the same if you're uh, modifying one or if you're creating one from scratch, which you can do also. So you see here, uh, there's the list of things that are already in the build. Yeah, and supply, we'll just put what time we want to build the next one. Go, say, just create a factory, uh, about 22 supply. We'll start building our Widow Moans. And as you see, the supply in the top left corner changes as we add units. And just put a few rather random things in there. Right, finished. And that's our build order up in the left corner there. And as I go through, I'll just uh, create the first step in the build order, creating the supply depot. You can see there's a little tick next to it, which slowly fades out. And next step is uh, barracks at 12 supply. So. Okay, waiting for 150 minerals, you there. Build me a barracks, and that's the next step finished. Now we'll just go to a bit earlier on in the game and I'll show you what this map was actually made for. Saving and loading. So you can go through the menu screen, see here the slots, or it just saves automatically as well. But before an engagement, it's a good idea to always save it. So I'll just choose one of these slots. And I'll just demonstrate to you how, basically, how battles go bad. Uh, <laughs> send your army in there, focusing elsewhere, and my army's dead. This is actually a rather accurate depiction of what happens on the ladder to me quite frequently. So instead of going from scratch, we'll just select which slot we want to load from.
now we get the opportunity to redo this battle. Hopefully this time we do it a little bit better, which shouldn't be very hard. I'm by no means any good at all at this game, of course, but give it a shot. Yeah, this is going much better. This also works with build orders too, so if you're practicing a build order, it's a step that you constantly mess up, just save it and load it, and you can practice through that step just over and over until you really nail it. As a result of being able to save and load, we're not restricted on only having one army actually. We can go back, uh, load from that previous point. As, as you can see above the units, there's the names of the players who control them. All you have to do is click on whichever army you want. That one there. Select the controller. And as you can see, the names swap around. Just click on Done. And there you go. You can control the Zerg army. And from this vantage point, we can do a, try and do a better job. See what we can do. Set up an ambush. There you go, demolish them. Now, if you want to swap sides, you don't actually have to just save and load. But you can, but go through the menu system into swap. Again, just click on which unit you want. Select the controller. Now I've got player three as sorry, got player two as a spectator at the moment. So I'll just mess around with these a bit. Get that one as player two, and now I'm the spectator. Yeah, and as you can see, I've got full vision of the whole map. Uh, so this could be a training tool, or just watch your buddies have have battles and try and play it from their point of view and talk to them. And yeah, if you think you can do better, just select a side and yeah, there we go. We're back as Terran again. Last fall, I'm just going to show you how to restart the game. So, if you're halfway through a map, all you have to do is go into menu, and just here, restart. And it takes you back to the selection stage where you can choose where you want to start. And just demonstration, just in the bottom right here. You don't have to choose Terran either. Uh, the build order goes right back to the beginning, as you can see there. Uh, you go up here and choose Protoss this time. Obviously I'm not going to be able to do anything on this build order, so it's pretty useless. Three gate robo, yeah it's a pretty um detailed build. And there you go. And there we have it, a training tool which helps you both nail the timings of a build as well as practice late game scenarios. You can play through any stage of the game you want in a matter of seconds, or you can just jump in there with a bunch of friends and mess around seeing who can outdo each other. Hopefully that was enough of a preview to get some of you interested in checking it out, and I hope it becomes an int integral part of your practice and play. I'll continue doing my best making this tool as good as I can. If you have any suggestions or comments, there is a thread dedicated to salt on the Team Liquid forums. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. I've got an in-game group on the US Battle.net region as well. Just search for salt in the game and I'll just be posting updates and stuff as I go in there. In the meantime, 
I'll leave you with the credits. It's just a few of the people who have helped me in some way by testing or suggestions. Thank you for your time.